Hey YouTubers, Galen here, uh, and I am back with uh, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets PC free play. Uh, I was up until about 1.30 last night compiling the uh, free play aspect um, of this game, and I kind of expanded on it and kind of made it a little more uh, open world. Now. Uh, as you can see, the uh, objective still stays the same. So, um, dueling is still unlocked. And you can come in here. So you don't have to worry about going in there and then the game's over. This leads to the dungeons. Hi, would you consider a trade? Oi Ari, uh, want a trade? I actually don't need to go in there. Um Let's go in here. Um, oh. oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Um, I got stuck. Alright, there we go. Um, so now. Uh, you can actually go back and redo the, uh, and explore the, uh, Slytherin Common Room map again. Um, but this time I got rid of the, uh, this aspect of it, so obviously it's not going to, uh, function the way that it did during the story mode, so all areas are not accessible, so you can kind of go underneath and mess around with the gnomes if you want and toss them back into their gnome hole uh, but mainly it's because I left this entrance open that way you can go out of it um, now If <laughs> um, before we go any further, though, um, I do want to point out that uh, if you go into the common room uh, as Harry, uh, the Slytherins will catch you. See, they will see you and they will go after you. And they will actually chase you throughout the entire map. Oh shit. Oh shit. change that I forgot to uh... oh and he just wa he just fell to his death oh my god I have never seen that happen <laughs> wow okay yeah, I need to get rid of that door I forgot that door 
uh, closes. Um, but yeah, if you try and go into the common room as Harry, they will try and catch you. So you need to do go into the command console and type Goyo mode, and that will uh, turn you into Goyo. Now you can go back and forth between Harry mode and Goyo mode. To go back to Harry mode, type Goyo mode again, and you'll go back to being Harry. But uh, yeah, um, everything in here is virtually the same. Uh, there's Malfoy right there. Um, but uh, yeah, so you can actually go back and I need to remove that door though. I gotta make that change before I release this. Um, Switch back to Harry mode. And that takes us back to the entrance hall. Um, this leads to the dungeons. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. And you can actually redo the Bicorn Horn quest. Um, I'm just gonna fast forward through this. Here. Well, actually, what I could do too. Actually, no, never mind. Um, uh, I was thinking the uh, teleport thing, the teleport feature, but that's only an HP one though. And you can pick up the bike one horn again if you want to. And it takes you back to the entrance hall. Um, and what we'll do is we'll come down to the dungeons again one more time. Uh, so we're gonna go over here. This door is. It's actually not locked. I just forgot to remove that um, that piece of dialogue. But you can actually redo this map as well, and uh, redo the gardens map where uh, Goyle is located. Um, so yeah, this map can be replayed. Uh, let's see. <coughs> um. I'm just gonna skip like right to the very end. Uh, so when you get to this spot here, it'll just take you right back to entrance hall again. But yeah, you can go back and redo that map. Um, Um, the portrait of the fat lady, uh, I disabled her, so when you walk up to her, it'll move and it'll open for you, it'll function uh, the HP one way. Um, so she acts as a placeholder instead of, um, instead of like an actual model, and uh, she won't talk to you anymore. <sighs> Uh, which was something I, that happened by accident when I edited this map. I kind of learned the hard way that editing the original maps kind of messes with the game. Some of the characters don't follow their patrol points. 
I had to remove I don't know stuff. why people mock me for wanting to be Minister of Magic. And the Gryffindor challenge, um, we can go back and do. Um, let's see, I should do it for, actually, no, I take that back. You, you can also do the spell challenges, you know. Uh, Rick the Sempra, Scourge, um, I'm actually gonna do Rick the Sempra, I'm gonna go in here for a second. Now this is how all of the spell challenges will start out. You're not gonna have any cutscenes at all. Um, and when you get to the final challenge star, it's gonna f take you right back to entrance hall again. Um, so there's no cutscene from Lockhart. You're not gonna get a cutscene saying, you know, you completed the challenge. Um, I was trying to set it up to where it would give you house points, but the house point trigger for some reason does not work for me. I don't know if it's because I did it wrong, but... Yeah, there should be some more. I don't know why it's so dark over here. There should be some more lighting here. Um, one more thing I want to show you guys in this area. So, I mean, free place kind of buggy, but ceremony chamber. it works for the most part. We're going to come over here. And we'll go in here. And this takes you to the beam bonus map uh, without the timer. Um, so you can come in here and you can kind of mess around in here um, and collect all the beans. Um, so there's no timer, no time limit. The neat thing about it is that um, when you go back into the entrance hall, like right now I got 210. I pick up a bean 211. Okay. I go back. That carries over, and when you go back into the bonus map again, into the bean room map again, um, what's going to happen is that uh, the beans will, everything will reset, so you can go back and pick up all the beans again, and you can do it like c continuously. Um, so that would that'll help definitely with. Uh, being able to get the some of the more um, expensive stuff from the um, bean traders um, and you can also go into Grand Staircase area. And you can also redo the uh, Gold Wizard Car Challenge too. Um, a lot of the areas that uh, I've had to uh, to edit, I have I had to edit most of the original maps. Um more than likely when you finish the story I know this has happened with me um, after Harry and the cutscene where Harry and Ginny leave the chamber it takes me it take it'll take it'll probably take you to the to this map um, And you, you can actually go into Dumbledore study. And you can come in here. Uh. Uh, I may do something a little bit different with this. I'm going to have to fix that. There's some stuff that needs to be fixed. Um, but yeah, you can come in here and, um, no, 
now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go outside. Now if it does take you to the Grand Staircase map after the final boss, uh, which it probably will because that happened to me, you just bring up the command console and you type in open entry hall FP. And that should take you to the free play. So open entry hall free play. Yep, it'll reload. See? And it'll take you into the free play. sure I'm still in the free play mode. Interesting, everything reset itself. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, let me actually do something really quick. Yeah, free play mode is very buggy. Um, um, now, free play mode is going to be very different from the story mode there's a lot of gonna be a lot of changes uh, especially when it comes to the vendors you're gonna see something a little bit different with that um, if you're looking to buy some stuff from them I would hold off on that until uh, free play um, when you try and buy something from them in free play you'll see the difference there as opposed to trying to do it in story. How could I ever forget the way to the Quidditch pitch? You go to the Quidditch pitch. You actually walk around, kind of free play, uh, explore the area. Um, I'm kind of new to uh, the programming of HP2. HP2's programming is a lot different, um, at least to me, you know, as compared to uh, HP1. Um, I wanted to do something a little bit similar to HP1, but uh, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty new to the way that the programming works. So yeah, you can kind of Really explore this map. Uh, should be able to. That was... Yeah, you go over here and then it takes you back to the grounds. Quidditch is still accessible too. I don't know why that menu pops up. still go back and redo Quidditch. Yep, alright. I just want to make sure it was working properly. Um, 
So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the greenhouse. And you can redo the boom slang skin. Same principle applies to this as it does with the bike horn horn. You pick up the boom slang and then um, it'll take you back to um, the Hogwarts grounds. So I'm just going to. Here. So yeah, you can go back and replay that. Um, yeah. So free play is a lot more. Uh, this game's a little more open world now um, than it used to be. It's not perfect. Um, there are some bugs in it. Um, some stuff that needs to be fixed. Um, but for the most part, the free play, this the free play project for this is um, pretty complete. Uh, I just need to fix a couple things, and uh, this should be all ready to go. Um, didn't take me very long to do it since free play technically was already implemented. I just took advantage of it and expanded on it, um, which is something I plan to do with HP3 too. Um, shouldn't take me very long to do it since you, free play does technically exist. But, um, one thing I was trying to do was get the game to go into free play after the final boss, but can't edit the uh, editing the original maps messes with the way that the character models function. A lot of times, um, you'll see some of the generic the students spawn and they'll stay in place instead of following the patrol points. Uh, some of them are in T pose or were in T pose, uh, and sometimes cutscenes just would not play properly. And so editing the original maps, um, not something that um, I would recommend doing. Um, I know I had a lot of problems with it, so I, w I was not able to get the game to go into free play after the um, the. Uh, the final boss so when like with me it like like I say it took me to the grand staircase map so um, basically you know you just type in open and then entry hall FP um, so um, yeah that should take you into free play and you should be ready to rock and roll from there um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, there's, uh, I have a lot more content coming. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, there's more to come.